iTube community, I decided I'm going to do some video blogs. I've kept a journal most of my adult life, but I decided to start doing a video blog, and my reason is because it's a part of me. I wanted, as I stated earlier in my introduction videos, I wanted to do a bunch of different things. Uh, some how-tos, some spoofs, a whole bunch of different things. And one of the things I really want to do is video blogs. Uh, as you can see in the background here, I'm in my, uh, in my kitchen, my commercial kitchen. Uh, I'm in the process of getting ready for the day. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning, a little late in that quarter after. And I'm here. Uh, because this is my most productive part of the day and so I decided that that's when I should do these videos as well. It's a lot easier for me to think and to get my head on and a lot of ideas come to me and as the day wears on I have no energy and by the end of the day I just can't do a thing. So uh, I thought that this would be a good time to do my videos. Um, you know behind me there's a some different stuff that I've baked already this morning. I've got some Danish there and I have some muffins and that. And there is one thing that I am going to do different though about this set of videos versus the other videos I do and that's I'm going to um, censor my comments on these. And you might say well now what the heck is that all about? But the reason for that is I want this to be instructive for people. I found that in the cor over the course of the years that a, a blog, journal, blog, whatever you want to call it, is very therapeutic and it has a lot of good things that come out of it. And I want that to be the same thing here on this site as well. So if people are going to leave me comments like, ah, oh, you're a fag, or that's stupid, or you're a jerk, things like that, that's not productive and that doesn't do anything to help anyone. Um, if you have a complaint or an issue about something or whatever, please point it out to me. I mean, I, that's the whole idea. I want to learn about myself and figure out how I can, can make things better in my life. So if you have some constructive criticism, you know, leave that and I will put that up. Um, you know, but if you just say, uh, you know, I, I dump you too, well, that's not constructive. But if you say, you know, I dump you up and this is the reason why, blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, that means something to me and that means something to the rest of the community as well. So those will get put up. I'm also hoping that people will leave me comments and that because uh, it's important to get different perspectives on things. Uh, a number of years ago, I went to this seminar called The Experience. And uh, it was at the time I went just based on a friend's recommendation, said you should go, it's really neat, you'll like it, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but what it was basically for was people that had trouble with their dealing with their sexual orientation. And it was a, a method to get you to come around and think a little bit better about yourself and realize how you got in the situation you're in. Well, I, I've never had those kinds of problems with my orientation because um, I grew up on a farm. And real early in life, you realize that uh, I realized that there was an abundance of different times of what different types of life forms around me, and I was no different than all of those, and I was just a part of that. So it was never an issue for me, and I think that by doing that, it came across to a lot of other people, and I've never really had a, a serious problem with it with anybody. In this seminar, there was a period or a, uh, an exercise we did that was called the five fingers of, of uh, the five finger salute from hell and what it, what it was was you stood in these two parallel uh, in a parallel line two, two lines and uh, you stood across from this person and you were supposed to uh, in complete silence you would move from person to person and at the end you would go you know make this circle and go around until you got through everybody and that and what you did is you held up your hand and you held up a finger one meant that you were not interested in them for whatever reason five meant you were the most interested okay so you rated people as you want to similar the comments here on on YouTube Anyhow, you would go from person to person and do this. And throughout the, the you know, I'm a guy, you know, and we're always looking to score, right? So um, through the course of this this seminar, you know, I was playing this little eye thing with, with another guy and, and stuff. And, and when it came time to do this, um, you know, I stood in front of him, I gave him a five, you know, <laughs> he gave me a one. And that was the last 
exercise for the day and we weren't supposed to talk about it for anybody you were supposed to go back to your rooms just reflect on this whole thing and I was like devastated like wow what, what, what did I do you know and stuff then the next day when you come back and you've had a thing think about it chance to think about it, all this you sit down and you talk to all these people and you say why you did what you did and come to find out is that I reminded him of his ex and he didn't want to have anything to do with me uh, hmm okay that makes perfect sense the th idea behind all the this exercise was that people are going to judge you and they're going to say things to you and whatever that have nothing to do with you it's based on their experiences and so that's why I think a video blog is really good because we're going to be talking about a lot of different things and all the advice and comments going back and forth are going to be based on other people's experiences and that's great that's a really good way to get some idea about what's going on around you all right here we go and uh, last couple days have been pretty wild uh, I'm uh, in the process of uh, breaking up with my relationship and so uh, so I guess another reason why I decided to do some blogging as I said it's it's good therapy and the therapy uh, can be used for whatever you need you know you're buying a house stressful situation going on you name it well this is one that I think comes in really well um, and uh, so I've got to go up to my partner's house or, or my ex I guess wow it's the first time I've referred to to him like that I don't like that anyway uh, he's asked me to remove all my things out of his house so I've got to go up there and do that and I've been really kind of dreading that uh, not so much from the confrontation part because I don't think there will be confrontation um, just because it's signifying an end to things and uh, I haven't been pleased with that I've been kind of holding on for a long time I guess when I think about it it's been coming for quite some time and uh, so I, that's been on my mind um, business here in the shop has been a little bit slow and the last quarter has been a little bit tough and uh, and I've also uh, had a land contract on this building and whatever and that came due the balloon came due yesterday as a matter of fact oh wait a minute it's not the 20th what am I talking about? <laughs> it's the 26th it's Friday um, anyhow yesterday on the 25th was uh, my balloon on my land contract and so uh, I got that settled with the bank and that's all fine I'm, I'm officially locked into a, uh, a mortgage now um, but I feel like the building's a little bit more mine now than it was before so um, I'm, that part is good had a long conversation with a buddy of mine in, in New York and he also has a, a coffee shop and a bakery and and that and we compare notes and stuff and he mentioned to me you know asked me how things are going and he knows that things have been a little bit rough for me in the relationship department and I had mentioned to him about uh, all of this uh, that it looks like it's coming to an end and I was he was giving me lots of a good support I, I appreciate it and uh, and he said you know uh, he made some joke and I made an innuendo about you know, haven't been. Oh, he said uh, I ought to put myself in a big uh, refrigerator box and mail myself there. And I said I haven't been in a box in a long time. It was kind of like a little joke thing. And and he said, Oh yes, you have, and you you're you're getting out of it now. And I realized what he was talking about. And so today, this morning, has been kind of a, um, an uplifting experience or. A, a, I don't know. I felt like I've, I've shed a little weight off my back in that, and uh, and I got a good good morning going here. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And uh, <laughs> compressor kicked in. Anyway, uh, you folks, I hope you have a great day today. I wish you the best, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.